Ashanti region, where the Kwadosu municipality in that region is among areas with the lowest family planning acceptance rates in the country because residents are failing to sign up for family planning. Health authorities are concerned that despite increased advocacy and sensitization, the area performed poorly with a family planning acceptance rate of 11.5% as against the national target of 40%. Municipal Health Director of the area says her outfit has also faced negative utterances from members of the public. There's more in this report. Ghana's Ministry of Health is committed to increasing the modern contraceptive prevalence rates, especially among married women, from 30% in 2020 to 44.4% by the end of 2030. This is expected to be achieved through expanded method choice, improved service delivery and enhanced data management. It is also expected to reduce the unmet need for contraception among sexually active adolescents from 30 to 57 percent by December 2030 through the promotion of reproductive health education, among others. But despite several efforts, including roadshows to encourage residents to accept family planning, the acceptor rate is still low in the Kwanasu municipality. The area recorded a drop in family planning cases from 4,535 cases in 2021 to 4,400 and 80 cases in 2023, representing 11.5% of the total subscribed. The situation has left Municipal Health Director Grace Billy Kampitip frustrated. So the situation in Kwadaso is quite interesting. Over the past three years, family planning rate has been consistently low. So in 2022, we did a lot of commodity show. We targeted the university community, you know, uh, we went to lorry terminals, we went to churches, we targeted uh, groups, organized groups like the uh, dressmakers and tailoring association, the beauticians association, um, but it didn't really yield much results. So for 2022, we were able to record a marginal increase. We recorded about 12.9% for family planning and we realized for 2023 it decreased again to 11.5%, which is a worrying situation. We're also looking at re-registration of the long-term method, you know, that seeks to uh, provide protection for a long period of time. Ms. Kampita spoke to Joy News on the sidelines of the Assembly's annual performance review. She said despite the setback, the directorate will continue to engage residents at a time condom usage has also gone down among men. The municipality also saw its skilled delivery figures cut from 43.9 in 2022 to 41.2% in 2023. Ms. Kampitip says the directorate will investigate what is contributing to the trend. I am very, very worried about the fact that skilled delivery rates is low. Okay, we have had, uh, so we could attribute it a bit to the fact that uh, some of our midwives uh, have traveled out for greener pastures. However, as a municipality, the numbers that we have for midwives, especially for the government facilities it's still very good um, we can't say same for the private facilities um, most of the private facilities do not have these skilled personnel and and that is the reason for which you have most of them referring cases now,